if you're debating someone, man or woman, and they pull this excuse rather than engage in, in real debating and say, you know, don't lecture me, or I will not sit here and be lectured to by my opponent. What is it they're doing? Well, it's several things. They're dodging the issue, they're pulling the victim card, and trying to infer some kind of deliberate mistreatment on your part. You're the bad guy. You're bringing up a hard truth meant to cause discomfort or offense. So one response might go like this. If Mrs. Harris said to me, just don't lecture me, I might say, come on, Mrs. Harris, this is a debate. I did not come here to lecture, but to vigorously argue my policy positions and show you why your position is wrong and mine is right. I'm politely informing you of something you've been too slow to learn from other sources. So you now push back by whining and demanding your own way. And this not only makes you look ill-informed, but undependable in holding to the rules of this debate to which you agreed. Is this a preview to these voters on how faithfully you will keep your oath of office if elected vice president? and how intellectually honest you will be when confronted with complex policy issues in 2021. In that office, you can't simply whimper and demand a little safe space when the truth comes after you and makes you uncomfortable. Now, let me argue my position. So that's, that's how I would address that. And then I would get into my argument. 